Monsignor Terry Fleming will introduce Mrs. Baker. Archbishop, I'm sure that you've read the booklet about Cheryl, and it's all true. But there's one thing that I think was left out, and I think it captures Cheryl. It was, she's always lived the philosophy of she listened to her mother. You know, truthfully, her mother was a philanthropist and a woman of faith, and she instilled that in all her children, and Cheryl's taken it to a higher degree. And because of her generosity, so many people have benefited in the Los Angeles area and in the Church of Los Angeles. So it is my pleasure to present to you Cheryl Ferraro Baker, and I'm happy to say that I'm very proud to say that she's a member of St. Brendan's Church. My husband says I speak too softly. Where is he? Thank you. Thank, oops, that's really loud. <laughs> thank you, Monsignor, for your very kind words. Um, I just want you to know how much Bob, it means, to, it means to Bob and I that we are a part of your faith community at St. Brendan Church. I want to say a quote that Mother Teresa said once that is pretty close to my heart. Be faithful in the small things because it is in them that your strength lies. To me, the small things are the kindness that we give to others. But also I find comfort in the big things in life because of my faith. In times of great joy, such as the birth of my children and grandchildren, I have been astonished by the enormity of God's gifts. And in times of grief, when we endure the loss of loved ones, such as our beloved parents, I feel the comfort from God through the words and the kindness of many of you here tonight. But our faith teaches us how to respond to God's gifts. And it's a very simple one. It's gratitude and generosity. This is the moral principle which Bob and I have tried to live. And hopefully we have given that to our children and they and their wives will give that to their children. I want to thank all of my friends who are here tonight it's such an honor to have you come and spend this evening with me. And I want you all to know that each one of you is in my heart. To my sons, my daughter-in-laws, and to my grandchildren, you are and always will be my joy. I do not feel like I have really ever done anything special, but the good that I have done is only possible because of the teamwork, love, support, and encouragement from Bob. We are so fortunate that the two of us have a very loving and a very long and a very equal relationship. And I'm very happy to be here tonight, and I thank you all, and please always remember the small things in life.